Denmark. Welcome to my channel and my shop. And if you click on this tool here, you will come to a place on my website where you can see my finished projects. There's a lot of them, uh, even though I'm working on a lot of projects too in the pipeline. And uh, that's how I am. If you click on the logo down in the corner there, you can uh, subscribe to my channel and me and my staff will be very happy if you do a subscription. Hope you like what you see and come back and share my videos with your neighbors and friends and colleagues and uh, thanks for watching. Here I have my uh, drawing of the center finder and uh, it's three main components. The centering I was doing this in my last video except this finger hole and the screw holes here. What we are going to do today is this one here and this one. And the green one is what I call the tilting ring. When I turn this in relation to the center ring, then the laser diode should be tilted so that I can decide where it should make the measuring ring I use for centering. If it should be up here or way down lower on the, the, the axis. In the first place I'll do this ring here. And uh, there should be a little opening here for the the lip here this lip here should go inside the cover ring you can see it there and this distance here should be the thickness of the tilting ring and uh, I hope I can do it so that the tilting ring will move easily. If not, then I can, I think with some paper gaskets, I can lift this cover ring here so that the distance here will be a little greater. And then tilting ring can move easier this way. But uh, let's start with this one here and afterwards the tilting ring. Let's see if I can get these uh, three, I have the one of them, but the, the two other components made out of this material here. This is uh, the center ring I think I called it the yellow one on the drawing and this is material for for the, the red uh, locking ring and then I'll use this flat slice here for the what I call the the focus ring or the center ring the green one I think it was the green one but I think I'll, I'll uh, do this here first to let it fit it into here with a thickness so that these screws here can can be used to uh, to fasten this cover ring to the bottom ring here and this will turn in between without any resistance at all. These are three millimeter screws under countersunk screws but I think I'll, I'll have some difficulty making uh, threads in this material but um, I'll try it in a test 
in the first place and if I can't make these small 3 millimeters thread in this material I'll go upwards and maybe uh, if I can get some brass uh, inserts with uh, thread, 3 millimeter thread in I can maybe drill the holes here and then glue the inserts in there so I have a brass thread to th screw into but um, let's start with this one here and let's uh, get it done to fix this here in the correct thickness left for the turning ring in between this one and this one yeah now I set it up in the forge jaw here and then I face off this face here and bore out to the correct diameter here surface. This will be borne out. 75 millimeters here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but I see the witness mark here on 74 millimeters and then I'll, I'll now bore it out and be careful when I come to this. Yeah. You won't even try to use it in the bath as a sponge. And I see no need to try it before she did. Now I'll take it the last few millimeters or hundreds of millimeters fits very well and now I'm gonna leave uh, 10 millimeters here as a face to register to here with the five screws from this side this side of the, the top ring I'll change the cutter here and try to let this 10 millimeter out of diameter here and then 10 millimeters in and then form the top ring or locking ring or what we should call it. Take your hands off. 
Then I'll face it all for you. Two, about oh, again, again. three millimeters. Yeah, probably he gets to eat and then. Now I think I'll take and make a chamfer on this outside diameter here. See how nice it fits. Oh, it fits nicely. And inside too. And there. <coughs> There's space there for the ring. I think I can hold it from the inside here, I believe. Maybe I believe wrong. sharp corners. Just make a new one. Now to the tilting ring. Now I'll face this off and then break through here to bore out so that so that this ring here can fit in there. Yeah. Let's start. Now I'll break through to prepare the, the boring. Now I have to take the last in depth here and then um, I miss to, to make the inner diameter the right size. But now I'm through. And the 
there should be no colliding with the jaws when I'm breaking through. Cut the lip in here. I don't know why. Maybe I should use a high speed steel with a very sharp button. You have to be very careful with these chips. They look so innocent, but I think they can they can draw you into there if they are many. So be careful. Here's the center ring and here's my tilting ring and then the cover ring which will register on this lip down there. It's a little tight but uh, I think it's better to have a gasket here then it's too loose. That's why. So when the screws are drilled and tapped in here, then it may be too tight. But then a gasket here of paper will do the job. Yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.